Welcome to the Soccer Visa Pro Player Development Center Complex. We are so excited to have you guys here today and I am walking the property to show you all the amenities and what the rules are. This is one of the cabinas that the players will stay in, so we're gonna take a look in this one. First rule, no shoes. We leave them outside. Second rule, no soccer balls inside the cabina, only outside, okay? We have umbrellas throughout the property so when you go to the dining hall to have your meals, you just put your umbrella up when it's raining. In each room of the cabinas, we have four to six players and we want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. So we have cleaning service coming in every other day, changing the sheets and towels. Each cabina has white towels, which will stay in the cabinas and not by the pool or by the beach. Every cabina also has AC and a fan. The AC will be on while you guys are in your rooms, but when you're outside of the rooms and hanging out on the inside the complex, we turn the AC off. To keep the rooms extra clean, we ask the players not to have any food or sugary drinks inside the rooms only water to drink. We have a designated refrigerator in the dining area where you can store all your foods and snacks and drinks. Every cabina has one bathroom that you guys will share. Let's take a look. Sorry, Daniel. So let's go over some rules. In Costa Rica, you cannot flush down toilet paper down the drain because it will ruin the sewage system. So, each bathroom has one large garbage can that you will put the paper in and our cleaning staff will come and pick that up every day. Let's... Can I need that? Thanks. Sorry, Daniel. One of the best areas of the complex is the pool area. Here you guys can recover and relax after your training sessions and after your games. We do have some rules. The pool is open between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. We do have a big speaker. Music is turned off by 8.30 p.m. Once the pool towels are used, you will put them in the designated area for our cleaning staff to wash and brought back. The pool area offers a small kitchen. Players, however, are not allowed to have their meals here. We do offer smoothies for sale in the afternoon where staff will be here to serve you guys when you order. Also to keep the pool area as clean as possible, we do not allow cleats here. The pool area has a bathroom and a shower that can be used as well. We have bikes available for players here at the complex. We have a special designated area where bikes are parked at all times. Bikes are not allowed by the pool area or the dining area or parked outside of the players' rooms. Players are not allowed to favorize one bike. They take whatever is available at the time when you need it. All bikes are not allowed to be stored outside of the center overnight. You pick a bike during the day to head into town. You always bring the bike back and store it in this area. Hey guys. Hey, how are you doing? Have a nice ride. Thank you, thank you. The complex also has a small gym available for all of you guys. The hours of the gym is the same as the pools, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. You wanna play music? Go ahead. After 8.30 p.m., please shut it off. We ask you guys to enter the gym without shoes and park them right outside. For cleaning purposes, there are Clorox wipes to be used after you've used the equipment. We ask you to keep the gym organized and cleaned so we can all enjoy it. To make it easier for you guys to keep your cleats clean, we have a designated area where you can come in after training and after games to clean your boots off. We also have an area where you can store them right here. 
We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, so one of my favorite things when I played professionally, and it's always the little things, was having a boot room where all the players had their boots. So Juan Carlos and Max have created this amazing boot area. They can clean their boots this way with this little brush, or they can come over here and there'll be brushes here. And when they're done, so because it's Costa Rica, this is an outdoor boot room because everything is outdoor in Costa Rica. This is our dining area for all the players, where you will have breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. We take great pride in the meals that we serve because of our amazing staff. We ask you to respect them when they're here cooking for you guys and keep this area clean between the meals. There are two refrigerators here, one for staff and one for players. If you go out and buy groceries, fruits, drinks, anything that you need outside of the three meals that are served, I would suggest you put them in a bag and put your name on it so you know they're yours. For our staff refrigerator, that's only for staff who prepare the meals for you guys. Players are responsible for removing their plates, utensils, and cups onto our dish cart after each meal. Again, our staff at the Soccer Visa Pro Development Center is absolutely amazing. This is the area where all the laundry is taken care of. Players Cabinas will have a schedule to do their personal laundry for a small fee, but this is also where all their jerseys, shorts, and socks and game wear will be taken care of. Our Soccer Visa complex is extremely safe, and we want to keep it that way. If you are visiting friends or family in Puerto Viejo, you will have to do that outside of the center. We are asking everybody to be back here before 10 p.m. before this gate shuts for the night.